Hi, welcome all of you for MSC videos. So, last lecture, we briefly discussed about how to derive Bresnan's line drawing algorithm for type 1. Now, we will discuss about the algorithm and we are, we are going to solve a problem on this. So, in that line drawing algorithm, the step number 1 is we want to get the input from the user, input the two endpoints, and step number 2, we are going to locate the first point, so x1, comma y1, we are going to identify. And step number 3, we have to calculate delta y, delta x and p1. So, already we derived what is p1, p1 equal to 2 delta y minus delta x. And in step number 4, at every x k along the line starting k equal to 1, we are going to perform the following test. After identifying p k, we are going to perform the following test, that is the meaning. If p k is less than 0, so we all know that x values are fixed. So, next point is x k plus 1 comma y k and we are going to identify p k plus 1. The disk decision parameter value is identified by using p k plus 1 equal to p k plus 2 delta y. Otherwise, our p k is greater than or equal to 0. The next point is x k plus 1 comma y k plus 1 and p k plus 1 can be identified by using p k plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x. So, this is a step 4, we are going to perform that. And step number 5, we are going to repeat step 4 for delta x, delta x times or until you are reaching the ending points, both the things are same. So, the formulas are simple, just we want to perform the calculations and then we are going to substitute, that is what we are going to do. So, we will discuss an example for that. So, draw a line with 20, 10 to 30, 18 by using Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. So, still now we derived a Bresenham's line drawing algorithm for only type 1. So, first of all, you, you keep sure that whether you are using the type 1 data. The solution we are going to start, we are going to identify the slope value m. So, m is 0 0.8. So, starting values are lesser than the ending value. So, we can say that line is of type 1. So, we can use these formulas to draw this line. So, let us start. First of all, we are going to identify delta x. So, delta x is x2 minus x1, it is 30 minus 20, it is 10. And delta y equal to 18 minus 10, the value is 8. And then, so for simplification, we need 2 delta y. So, we calculate itself, so it is 16. And 2 delta y minus 2 delta x is 16 minus 20, it is minus 4. So, if you want, you can use that. Because in that formula, all the formulas we are using 2 delta y and then 2 delta x, all the things. So, directly here also, you can directly calculate this constant value. So, you can easily substitute the value, you can reduce the calculations. So, first of all, we are going to identify P1. So, we know P1's formula, P1 equal to 2 delta y minus delta x. So, 16 minus 10, it is 6. So, if P1 value is now greater than 0, the next point is xk plus 1 comma yk plus 1. So, the next point should be 21 comma 11 and we are having a different formula for that, pk plus 1. pk plus 1 equal to pk plus 2 delta y minus delta x. So, we are going to substitute k equal to 1. So, we will identify p2. p2 equal to p1 plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x. So, we are going to get it as 2. So, p2 is also greater than 0. So, the next point should be x value is also incremented, y value is also incremented. So, it should be 22 comma 12 and then we are getting p k plus 1. The same formula we are going to repeat. Now, we are going to substitute k equal to 2 and now we are having p3 equal to p2 plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x, it is minus 2. Now, p3 value is less than 0. So, the next point should be x value is incremented and y value is remains same. So, here you see it is 23 and it remains 12 and we are having a different formula for pk plus 1. pk plus 1 equal to pk plus 2 delta y. At k equal to 3, we are getting 14. So, both the values are incremented and p5, it is 10, both the values are incremented. p6, it is greater than 0. So, uh, x and y values are incremented and p7 it is 2, once again both the values are incremented. At k equal to 7, we are getting a negative value. So, x value is incremented, y value remains same and then k equal to 8, p9 it is 14. So, both the values are incremented, k equal to 9 it is 10. So, both the values are incremented. So, we repeated the process and then here you see we reached the end points 30, 18. So, we can stop the process and here we are having the line. The line which is starting from 20, 10 which is ending at 30, 18. Here we provided some space between each and every pixel. So, you may not look like a line. 
while you are drawing this, uh, the space will not be like this, so you can be able to see a line. So this is we are saying as a Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. The main advantage of this line drawing algorithm is it will perform only a integer calculation, which is not uh, which is not similar to a DDA line drawing algorithm. In DDA, you may get a floating point value, so you want to perform an additional process to convert those floating point into an integer value. But here we are not going to do that. We are going to use a decision parameter P K. By using decision parameter, we are going to decide the next point value. So if it is less than zero, we are having one set of formula and one set of points. If it is greater than zero, we are using one set of formula and then another set of incremental values. So that's the advantage of a Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. Thank you for watching. Keep on visiting my channel. Thank you.